Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am finally opening my fall FabFitFun box. This is one of my favorite things to get in the mail. It is a quarterly subscription box and it is full of full-sized awesome products. It is a variety of different things, everything from beauty to lifestyle to fitness to home items. I mean, all kinds of different things come in this box, which is one of the things I love about it. The other thing that I really love about this box is you're able to customize your box. You get to pick for a number of different categories which items you want, which makes it so much more realistic that you're going to get things that you're actually going to use makes it worth it for me. And I love unboxing them here with you and sharing with you my thoughts on all of the items. I also share with you the other items that you could have chosen. And the best part about FabFitFun when it comes to unboxing videos is that you can still get this fall box. This fall box is still available if you want to purchase it. I also have a link in the description box if you want $10 off your first box. It's a referral code. You get 10 bucks. I get 10 bucks back in my account towards my box. And I'm actually about to renew my annual subscription for this box. I did convert to an annual subscriber last winter was my first box on the annual subscription. Usually the annual members get to pick more. There's some categories where the annual members get to make a selection and everybody else just gets one of those items. I'll make sure to note that as we go through all of the things, but let's get right into it because it's been sitting on my desk all week and I haven't been able to open it okay first the box is beautiful the boxes that they have are always gorgeous and recently I learned that they have been partnering with different companies for their boxes and they're all women owned organization or women founded organizations which is really cool so this quarter it is city for hope this season oh, I said a quarter it's so businessy okay so the first thing it always comes with a magazine and on the cover of this one it has Megan Trainer. it says how she hopes to empower women so I think she may be involved with that organization organization that they're partnering with this season, but I really like the magazine. They usually have a bunch of information on how to use the products or style the products or just all kinds of fun articles. It also comes with all the information about all the product options and what the values are. So we'll be able to add it all up at the end and see what the value is. The price of the box, I'll tell you right now, is $50 a quarter. If you use my link, you'll get $10 off your first box. If you wanna do the annual subscription, it's 180 for the whole year, which comes out to $45 a box. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first open it. It's all nice packaged in there and it's got these um, like paper, things in there. I, do any of you watch? She does a, has a Harry Potter channel. Her name is Cherry and she calls them wiggly worms. So it has a bunch of wiggly worms in it. I'm going to put it on the ground though to open it. Okay. The first thing that was on top that I couldn't resist because it was the first thing right there is Wander Beauty and it is baggage claim gold eye mask. There are six pairs. I'm going to open it up, see what they look like. So it looks like there's just six individual packages. They look like this. I have used Wander Beauty once before. I used a mascara that I got in another subscription box. I didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite mascara, but I am excited to try these eye masks. I'm always about an eye mask. I especially love to take them when I travel and I know I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures. I like to use them in the morning before I do my makeup. So I'm excited about these. And these value for $25. So six eye masks for $25 is actually a pretty good deal. Um, I like, I probably would pay that if I actually liked them, but I seem to get eye masks in all kinds of subscription boxes. So I still have plenty, but I'm excited to add these to my collection. Okay, this category looks like it was one where you only got to pick if you were an annual member. So if you signed up for the annual subscription, you got to pick between these three items. If you are just a normal subscriber who pays quarterly, you just got one of these three items in your box. So one of the other options was the Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Roller Ball. I'm not a big oil person in general, and I definitely don't think I would have used it in a rollerball style. I got a rollerball somewhere else or in something else, and I ended up decluttering it because it just wasn't something that I used. The other option was the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Toner. And I probably would have used that, like if I wasn't an annual member and I had gotten that in my box, I probably would have been excited about that as well. I have two toners in my, my cabinet right now that I'm trying to work through, so I'm probably okay. I didn't need another toner. That valued at $30 and the rollerball valued at $29. So the eye masks were actually the lowest valued thing in that category, but I'm definitely the most excited about those. Okay, the next thing I see in my box is an Aveda product. So this is the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. And this is something that everybody got in their box. So it says that it's instant visible repair protects heat from styling. It looks like you're supposed to, oh, you apply it on damp hair. That's interesting. 
Yeah, it says work a small amount of products, apply through damp hair, comb to distribute, do not rinse. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm excited to try this. I thought it was gonna be something that I put on before I style my hair, which I don't usually like that kind of stuff because I feel like it gives my hair a weird texture and I don't know, I'm never a big fan, but I definitely will use this if I'm using it on wet hair. And this valued at $30. So there we are between those two products, we're already at the value of the box. Okay, the next thing I see in my box is this body souffle. So the brand is Human and Kind, and it said that it's a body souffle. It's a blend of apricot oil and shea butter. So I think it's a fancy word for lotion, um, but I bet it smells really good. I'm always down, oh, it's sealed together. Do I want to open this? I've regretted sometimes opening stuff in my FabFitFun unboxing because then I want to give it as a gift, but I already opened it. But this one I probably will keep. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the scent, y'all. It smells like tropical deliciousness. This doesn't really feel like a fall product for me because it smells like summer and I don't really need like a super moisturizing lotion until the winter. Let's see how thick it is. Oh, it's pretty thin. It's not a super, super thick lotion. So I guess that makes sense. I guess it's a good transition then because it smells like summer. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm obsessed with this scent. Is this like for your overall total body, like not just your hands? Yeah, oh, I'm obsessed. I'm so excited about that. And that was something that everybody got in their box and it said that the value is $18. Okay, the next thing I see are these detox pads. Okay, so the brand is Nassif MD. I've never heard of that before, but these are detox cleansing complexion perfection pads. Uh, no, not perfection. It's complexion perfecting pads. So it looks like it, you know, it's a pad that you wipe around your face after you have taken out your makeup. Actually, it says that you should use it in the morning. It says gently wipe your face with a pad in the morning. Hmm, that's interesting. So I talked about this in last month's favorites video that I recently, actually not last month's, actually July's favorites video that in the mornings I've been using my cellar water on a pad instead of actually just full on washing my face in the mornings. So I'm excited to try these as like my morning wipe down instead of the micellar water. I don't know if it, it might be too harsh. Let's see what it has like in terms of ingredients. Oh, it says oily skin use daily, dry skin use twice a week and build up to daily use. And also has normal skin use three times a week and build up. Sensitive skin used twice a week, increasing use if tolerated. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it just a couple times a week, even though I do tend to have more oily skin, especially since it's technically still summer, but I'm excited about these. So this category was something that everybody got to pick. So no matter what, if you are an annual member or a quarterly member, you got to pick. The other options were this Kate Spade lunch tote, which I laugh at because I actually already own this lunch tote. I got it as a gift when I was a member of the Go Wild planning committee a couple of years ago. This was like the gift that they gave to say thank you. So it's super cute. I do like it. I I use it more when I'm traveling for stuff because it's lined. It's not quite big enough for me as a lunch tote, but it's cute that they included this. Also, my detox pads were valued at $45. The Kate Spade lunch tote is $30. You also could get a cut from the cloth skim striped wallet, which values at $60. That is a huge range in the same category, the $30 to the $60. And that wallet, I mean, it's cute, but I don't use a big wallet like that. I use a wallet on the back side of my phone. So that definitely wasn't something I wanted to pick. But if you were trying to get the best value for your box, that's what you would pick. And then the last thing in this category was a cheese board with plate and it came with like a little serving utensils. I, I mean, if I make a cheese board, it's gonna be a lot bigger than that, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I don't, I feel like while living in this small apartment, I'm not trying to accumulate as many of those kinds of items. I like getting the perishable items that will be gone once I use them up. But again, I do like that there are some household items in this box. It makes it a little bit more fun. And if you are looking to build out your collection in your house, like last quarter, they had some really cute bowls. So everybody has a different preference. And that's why I like that you got to pick and everybody got to pick between those four items. Okay, the next thing in my box are these exfoliating sugar cubes. So the brand is Harper and Ari, and these are exfoliating sugar cubes in juice cleanse. I have never heard of these before in my entire life. I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to do with them. So here, here's what it says. Take a single cube with you in the shower or the bath and gently massage over wet skin, concentrating on rough patches, recommended use twice a week. So do I use the whole cube on my, my whole body? Cause that's a pretty big cube. Let's see what they smell like. Oh my God. <sighs> these smell amazing. It smells like a gummy bear. Oh my God. Like if you open a bag of gummy bears and smell it. 
That's what these smell like. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the scent. Okay, well I'm excited to use this. I do, I've been trying to be better about exfoliating before I shave my legs. So I will, that's what I'll probably use these for. Um, although I do probably should be better about exfoliating my whole body, especially as we get into the drier months and my, my skin is a little bit drier. But again, this smells like summer. Like it smells very fruity and citrusy and not, not like fall at all. Like it's not a fall scent, but the product lends itself to more of a drier season. So I don't know. Also, this was something that everybody got in their box and it values at $16. Okay. The next thing in my box is a mask, I think. Well, it says cleanser scrub mask. So the brand is the better skin co and it says it's a lava mask. That's really interesting. I honestly don't remember picking this, but I also feel like we pick these like way in advance, like almost a month before they actually get shipped out. So it says it's a daily cleanser, exfoliating scrub and revitalizing mask. Skin cleansing, volcanic lava with nourishing, a, bu a bunch of things that I'm not gonna say. It also says that it's scented like orange. Once again, doesn't feel like a fall scent to me, but okay, we're cleansing our skin. And this says this value's at $32. The other thing you could choose were these Bobble Bar Farah Farah ear crawlers. These are super cute and I was tempted to get these except I still haven't gotten my ear re-pierced. That's a story for another day. It's also kind of gross so I'm not going to tell you that right now but one of my ears is not pierced and I need to go get it re-pierced and I was like you can't order earrings until you get your ear re-pierced. So I skipped that. The other thing was Cosmetic Pure C and I was tempted to get this so it's a vitamin C product and I was like oh I'm always looking to add some more vitamin C so that's cool but it's these crystals and you're supposed to add it into your other products and that just seemed like a lot of work and something i didn't want to do so i decided not to the earrings were 34 dollars, and that that vitamin c stuff was 54 dollars. again kind of a wide range of prices from 32 for the mask to 54 for the crystals also it seems like once again i feel like this is a theme i always pick the least expensive things in all the categories Okay, in that category, everybody got to pick. So it didn't matter if you were an annual member or just a quarterly subscriber. Okay, the next thing, I know I picked the cheapest item in this category by a long shot, but I knew it was something I would actually use, so I'm really excited about it. And that is a hair towel, a hair wrap towel. So the one that I currently have, which actually I got as like one of the add-on items to a FabFitFun box a while ago, it didn't have a loopy thing to like, to to wrap the towel in, you know what I mean? And I have really thick hair and I have a lot of hair, so it it wouldn't stay up well. I had to use a, like a hair clip, I had to clip it down. So when I saw this as an option, I was like, oh yes, I need a new one because the one that I have I don't like. Although, I'm yeah, so this one has like a button. So it's just one of those hair towels, like the one that you wrap around your head, right? And then you twist it and then there's a, a loop and you attach it to the button so that it will actually stay up. My other one does not do this, so I'm really excited about this. I'm glad that this was an option in the box. Although, like I said, in this category, it was definitely the least expensive. I forgot to tell you, I forgot to tell you the last category. So this is the other category where only annual members got to pick. So if you are someone who just pays seasonally, you would just get one of these four items. I got to pick, which of course, I ended up with the cheapest one, which is fine. It's something I actually will use. So the other options were this Aspari Dual Salt and Pepper Mill. And it, it didn't come with the salt and pepper, which I thought was funny. So you would have to go get like big crystals of salt and, and then like big whole pepper seasoning. I was like, that seems so silly. And like, again, I have a salt and pepper shaker. Like I don't need to replace it. Like that's a cool idea, but definitely not something I needed. That valued at $22. A hair wrap valued at 18. <laughs> the third option was these Trustique Mini Eye Essentials, set of four. So it had a brow pencil, an eyeliner, and two different shadow crowns. I'm not a big pencil crown person. I mean, I will sometimes use a pencil liner, but most of the time I use a liquid liner. I don't usually use an eyebrow pencil in my eyebrows. I usually use powder. So like, I'm not a big pencil person. So I just didn't think this was gonna be for me. Although this was the highest valued item in that section at $48. And then the last thing was Skin Volve Body Boost Gel. It says that it's supposed to give you tighter, smoother skin. I feel like I've bought in a product like this in the past, like, you know, firming, whatever, and I feel like it doesn't work. So I, I felt like I'm going to get the thing that I know is useful, but that valued at $45. That was probably the only other thing I considered in that category, but I ended up going with the towel. Okay. The last category I'm a little confused by because I don't remember picking this and I see mystery item as an option in this category and maybe I picked it and they just gave me one of the actual items. I don't remember, but I ended up with a new straightener, which again, I have a straightener, 
So did I really need a new straightener? No. Did I maybe click this thinking like this is a really pretty color and I would really like this color straightener? It's this like gorgeous coral color. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. And maybe that it would be a higher quality than my straightener. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I, I'm going to have to go look if I picked the mystery item and they just sent me this or if I ended up picking the straightener because I'm looking at the other products and I, I, I don't know that I would have picked any of them either. I mean, this is cool that they included in the box. If you're in need of a new straightener, like this is probably a really great value because the, this alone is worth the $50. The value of this straightener is $80. So that's a nice straightener. So I don't know. I mean, the worst case scenario is I'm just gonna leave it wrapped up and put it away until my current one dies. Or I mean, I don't know, but I ended up with the straightener. There is one thing in this category that I do remember picking and then I remember getting an email that said that they were no longer offering that and I needed to go pick something else and that was a advanced teeth whitening kit and obviously they already had these printed before that email went out because it shows it as an option in here and that valued at $90. So I would have picked the most expensive in that category. The other option in this category were a plush ultra plaid scarf for $75. It's an expensive scarf. I mean, this is cute, but I already have a lot of scarves that I probably don't need anyway, because I usually pick one that matches my coat and wear that one throughout the entire season. So I didn't need the scarf. And then the other one was a anthropology travel yoga mat. I definitely didn't need this. I do like yoga, but we learned this a couple of months ago. I am a yoga in a studio person. I'm not a yoga at home person. And I feel like travel yoga mats are made for people who are gonna do yoga at home when they travel. If I'm gonna do yoga when I travel, I'm going to a studio in that city and I'm gonna pay the whatever $3 to rent a mat in their studio. I don't need a travel yoga mat. And then there was also a mystery item that was an option. So I may have picked that and ended up with the straightener. I'm just gonna have to go check. I don't know why I would pick the straightener. Okay, so on the magazine, it says that the total value could be anywhere from $211 to $360, depending on what you picked. I just did the math and my total is like in the middle, kind of more towards the low end, and it's 264. Still, given that I paid $45 because I'm an annual subscriber to, for this box, 264 is a great deal. And there are a lot of products in here that I'm really actually excited about. I'm excited about the face wiping pads. I'm excited about the hair towel. I'm excited about the eye masks. I'm excited about the lotion because it smells incredible. I'm excited about that hair stuff, the damage repair. I mean, there are a lot of things with the exception of that weird straightener category, everything else I'm really happy with. However, I will say this box doesn't give me any kind of fall vibes with the exception of the scarf. That is the only thing in the entire box that has any sort of fall vibes. The straightener is like a summer color. All the scents for everything were super summery. I mean, some of the stuff lends itself to like dry skin, but that feels like a winter box thing, not a fall box thing. I don't know. It just, it didn't feel very fall-ish to me. However, it's still probably one of my favorite boxes in recent memory. I am really excited about everything that I got, so I can't complain. Let me know in the comments of all those items, which one jumped out to you that you would be the most excited to try. And like I said, you can still get this fall box if you're interested. Click the link in my description box for $10 off. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, if you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. Oh, why do I keep saying that? Okay, the next thing in my box, in the entire box, in the entire box, it's not great. Aspare dual salt, salt, blah, blah, blah.